What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to expand x plus 1 minus 1 over x to the power of 3 using binomial theorem. So we need to use binomial theorem, it means that we need to have two terms, but here in this bracket we have three terms, x, 1, and negative 1 over x. So in this case I need to combine two of them, of which I believe x plus 1 as the first one and negative 1 over x as the second term. So when you expand it, it's going to be... 3c0 x plus 1 to the power of 3 negative 1 over x to the power of 0 plus 3c1 x plus 1 to the power of 2 negative 1 over x to the power of 1 plus 3c2 x plus 1 to the power of 1 negative 1 over x to the power of 2 then 3c3 x plus 1 to the power of 0 negative 1 over x to the power of 3 so as you see here, the index is 3, so we end up having 4 terms, so now we need to start simplifying it. But here, as you see here, we have x plus 1 to the power of 3, and here we have x plus 1 to the power of 2. It's better to expand this to as well. So x plus 1 to the power of 3, when you expand it, it's going to be x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1. When you expand x plus 1 to the power of 2 using binomial theorem, it's going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. So now, when you want to simplify it, you need to find out these three terms, these four terms. And as you see here, and you, using the Pascal triangle, you can have 1, 3, 3, 1. So 1, 3, 3, 1 is going to be the coefficient. So the first one is 1 times x plus 1 to the power of 3, which you have the the expanded form in here times negative 1 over x to the power of 0 which is going to be 1 so we don't need to do anything 3c1 is 3 as I just showed you x plus 1 to the power of 2 is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1 times negative 1 over x and then you have 3 x plus 1 negative 1 over x to the power of 2 which will be 1 over x squared it's going to be positive because the exponent is even plus 1 times 1 times negative 1 over x to the power of 3 which will be negative 1 over x cubed so when you expand it it's going to be x cubed plus 3x squared plus 3x plus 1 minus 3x squared over x 6x over x and then you have negative 3 over x here you have 3 times x times 1 over x which is going to be 3 over x minus 3 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed so now we need to simplify it we have x cubed plus 3x squared. Here we have x. This one is going to be x. So these two cancel out because negative 3x, positive 3x, these two cancel out. And we don't have x. So here we have 1. And here we have negative 6. So that's going to be negative 5. Then we have negative 3x and positive 3 over x. These two cancel out. Then we have negative 3 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed. Perfect. Here there is only a typo here. We have x plus 1. I need to change this one in plus. So here that's going to be... plus in here. So that's positive 3 over x squared minus 1 over x cubed. That's the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.